I'm trying to develop Wikipedia's articles and other content relating to computers and technology. The reason why you should care about what Wikipedia says is because many people in the world are reading Wikipedia. It might be the world's single most requested, published, accessed, and consulted source of information on topics in computing. Therefore, if these articles were good, then we have a healthy media ecosystem and everyone who uses internet search to find information, they'll find these Wikipedia articles and that benefits the general public, students, journalists who are writing about these technical topics and need some help understanding and policymakers who use Wikipedia to inform their decisions. How do you do? My name is Lane Raspberry. I am Wikimedian at the School of Data Science at the University of Virginia. Let's take a look at some aspects of Wikipedia, some places we can do development and some strategies for developing this content. When I talk about developing Wikipedia, here's a Wikipedia article. It should be familiar to you. This Wikipedia article is about computer security. Uh, let's take a look at it. Here's how I look at the article. So I'm, I'm gonna scroll through and I'm just looking and a trend that I see, not many pictures in this Wikipedia article and also very choppy editing. I'm seeing a series of short paragraphs, short sentences, bullet points. This means not very well copy edited, not much flow in this. This is a complicated article, computer security, very difficult for a volunteer to tackle. It'd be very time intensive to do this. And we haven't recruited a volunteer who's willing to, to take on this article and give it a thorough, uh, good design, make it, make it highly readable. Also, if you look at the bottom in the references section, there's a lot of references cited. From one perspective, this is good. That means that there's been a lot of fact checking for the claims done in this Wikipedia article. From another perspective, having so many references, 258, is not a good thing because that means lots of people are citing sources for individual claims, not reusing those sources. We don't have a comprehensive uh, textbook being cited or papers being cited for multiple claims. It's just individual sources. And this makes it harder for readers who want to follow up on other sources to identify what's the best authoritative source that I can go to beyond Wikipedia to learn more about this topic. So where does this information come from? Who's maintaining it? Uh, why, why should anyone care about this? Let's do the why, sh why anyone should care about this. I'm going to click view history at the top of this Wikipedia article. And here we have a log of everyone who's made edits to this article. Every edit is permanently publicly saved, but I'm going to click on page views and I'm going to click last year. And I've got a traffic report of all the article, all the, all the people, a count of how many people came to this article on every given day for 2021. Uh, so we have almost 600,000 people. We have some trends that five days in a row, there's a lot of traffic and then two days, there's not traffic. That means people read this on weekdays when they're at school or at work and they're not reading it on the weekend when they're doing other things. We can click this all languages button and pull up a traffic report for uh, this article in English and Spanish and French and Italian. If we wanted to develop it across languages, we could do that. There's in interchange, you develop it in English and then take some sources and some good information, put it in other languages or take it in Spanish propagate that out, have cultural exchange, different perspectives from different cultures. These are things you can do. Who does this this kind of content? So back to the, the Wikipedia article. I'm going to go to, before I clicked on the history button, now I'm going to click on the talk page and we're going to look at the wiki projects. These are the communities that are maintaining this article. Wiki project computing, wiki project internet, wiki project espionage. We're mostly interested in computing. So let's check out wiki project computing. Here's a, a set of resources for anyone who wants to maintain or monitor all of Wikipedia's articles on computing. I'm going to scroll down to the article uh, table. We see here that there's Wikipedia's tracking 58,000 articles on computing. They're of different importance level and that's ranked. They're of different quality level and that's ranked. Uh, 60,000 articles, that's too many to maintain, but suppose I have an interest in computer security. I want to maintain my own list of articles, something manageable, something achievable. And at my university, perhaps I want to manage a group of students to develop those articles, make sure they're high quality and then queue them up so that everybody has access to these kinds of things. So I'm now at a project page for something called Wiki 99. In Wiki 99, a person can make a list. This is a 
per personal choice to make a list of about 100 articles or 99 of them that they want to develop. And you can develop these in one language. You can uh, queue these up for development in multiple languages. There's different technical tools that you can use here. But I've, I've got this list of articles. So information technology, cryptography, encryption. I want to develop these articles. And I can see here from this table, they exist in English. They exist in other languages also. If I want to develop across languages to get information more globally accessible, I can, I can do that with this as a basis. And if I add sponsorship, for a group of students, say undergraduate students, who in the course of their learning, they want to do research in the library, research one of these topics, find the best available sources about them, bring them into Wikipedia, summarize those sources, cite those excellent sources with the help from librarians and maybe their professor, some other subject matter expert. It's possible to do this. It's been done many thousands of times. Wiki, again, digitally native, there's ways to oversee cohorts of students who are editing Wikipedia articles. Uh, here's an example. I'm, I'm in something called the Programs and Events Dashboard. Students register their Wiki accounts, they click a button, and then suddenly I can see every edit that they're making in Wikipedia. So I can do fact checking, quality control, make sure that they're not misbehaving, they're being civil, collaborating with other Wikipedia editors. I, I was a participant um, in managing this dentistry project uh, so I, I'm, I'm in the process of writing this up right now, but in, in, I'll, I'll read this and just imagine that this could be done for computing, maybe at a smaller scale. This one had 385 student editors at a series of dentistry schools. They edited 400 Wikipedia articles on topics related to dentistry. They made 5,000 edits, 600,000 words, citing 6,000 sources. Since they edited these articles, it w there were 200 million views to these articles. This is communication impact. If you want to have uh, communication, you can pay for time on the radio. You can put up a billboard. You can put ads in the subway, or you can just edit Wikipedia, and then it's there forever. Wikipedia has the most impact. It's the best value as a communication strategy. This dashboard will give a person a list of all the articles that the students edited, dental crown, molar incision, dental trauma, these kinds of things. And I've got other tools here where I can see exactly what the students did to monitor what was the Wikipedia community quality control reviewer process for, for everything that the student did. So that's how you set up a, a list of Wikipedia articles on a topic. You get students to edit these articles and then you monitor everything they've done. But supposing you want to go even further Supposing you want even more quality control, more supplementary information, you can leave Wikipedia and go into Wikidata. I told you I'm at a school of data science. I'm also maintaining structure, structured data sets. Wikidata is a project to present the world with general reference data sets. It's related to Wikipedia, same, same organization, same community. Uh, Wikipedia presents general reference prose text, general reference human readable information. Wikidata presents general reference machine readable information. And we're trying to come up with a list of every piece of software in the world and all the kinds of data you would need to describe this software, metadata, some other interesting things. So I've got a data model for software and we can import data sets if we have lists of software and this is all queryable because it's in a database. And if you want to sort out software to say, I only care about software that's used for this purpose or in this language, or I want software that is associated with a person or an organization, you can do that too. I'll, I'll give you an example. So if we get software into Wikidata and we sort out this data model and it's a bit of a mess also, I could use some help sorting this out, then we can profile it. Here's an example piece of software. It's a, a, a humble piece of software called ImageJ. It makes, it renders images, it presents images for scientific devices. So if you need to use a microscope or you need medical imaging, ImageJ is the free and open software that can be put on that device. Anyone can examine it and adapt it. Doesn't require a license from any commercial vendor. It's free for everyone to use. And what do you know? Uh, I've got a list of academic publications using the software still being published to to this day. Some of some of them even being published in the future. Uh, it's not quite this date, but the paper papers have this as the date of publication. 
Uh, I've got 500 papers. If we queried, it, it's actually much higher than this. I just don't have the computing power to, to show more than 500 papers. We can also see if someone's using this software and in, in their research project, they're also using these other pieces of software in, in this many cases. So we have 3,000 projects that use both this image software and this other image software. Uh, what kind of research is using this software? So I see Alzheimer's and I see some Drosophila, fruit flies, cell biology, something about cell metabolism, uh, some other topics. So if one, someone wanted to know under what circumstances this software used, this software is used for medical type things. And then we can also have other software used for digital humanities or in finance or astronomy or whatever the case may be. We instantly find out through Wikidata uh, by connecting software to the papers, the research projects that use it. it. On those research projects, they're on papers, they have authors. So you can know who's actually using the software. You can track down those authors. And then if you know who's using the software, you can know what universities or what research institute or what uh, countries are using the software. Like what are, what are the geographic trends and these kinds of things? Uh, we, 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 we build all this out in Wikidata. And if I had Wikipedia articles tied to this, then of course, if you have subjects in Wikipedia, they complement the data sets and the data sets complement the content in Wikipedia. So where, where can we go with this? I've, I've got a list of projects, project ideas that I'd like to do. Uh, I've got this posted in, in, in GitHub. I mean, I can post it in other, other places too, but I wish that I could do a survey and description of Wikipedia, Wikipedia's articles on open source software. I, I wish that I could do a survey of all the data holdings in, in Wikidata about software. So I've got 60,000 Wikipedia articles on something to do with computing. Um, these are related. I could interconnect those with how do they relate to different topics in software. I wish that I could map out MediaWiki, the software that Wikipedia itself runs on, because we need to map out all kinds of software. And why not just start with Wikipedia that is so familiar and beloved? I, I bet there's 10,000 dependencies, 20,000. I, I have no idea. i uh, love to map it out. There's something called a Jupyter Notebook. It's kind of a tool for sharing code and running code in a file that's portable. And Wikipedia has capacity to present these in Wikipedia articles. I wish that sometimes when we're talking about software topics, we could actually link to software that people could run, readers could run in the Wikipedia article to use as an illustration or a learning tool or an example. Uh, we, could, we could do this. I wish that I could better explain to other academics how to register their software in a way that it's permanently archived and uh, well indexed, well findable, and that it gives credit to the people who create the software because software creators often don't get credit for what they do, especially if it's if it's free software. I need help with the data model in Wikidata. Uh, I wish that we had better information about the models for file formats in Wikidata. Actually, I've, I've just got a lot of issues. Uh, if anybody is interested or available to talk to me about how to have better information about computing, topics in computing, activism in computing, op free and open source software, free Libre open source software in Wikipedia, in Wikidata, uh, I would appreciate the help and collaboration. Thank you for hearing me out. Again, I'm Lane Raspberry, Wikimedian at the School of Data Science. Let's collaborate in Wiki. Thank you.